In this video, I'm going to show you how to install and use Angular Material Dashboard in Angular 6. The installation of Angular Material has become very easy in Angular 6. Especially, it can be installed by ng add command, and setting a material icon and so on is done automatically. At first, we're going to make a project for testing Angular Material Dashboard. Type ng new ng6 dashboard sample. ng6 dashboard sample is a project name. Any project name will do. This process will take a time. Then change into the project directory. Next type code dot force starting Visual Studio code. In your VS code, Open the command line window by typing control back apostrophe key. At first, we're going to install Angular Material. Type ng add at Angular slash material at 6.2.1. The reason for specifying the version is because at present time, June the 20th, a problem is found in the latest version, since it seems that this problem will be fixed at a later date. So first type ng add at angular slash material. If you have an error, type ng add at angular slash material at 6.2.1. Please try it. Next, we are going to install Dashboard by using Schematic. In a browser, open Schematic's guide page. You will find Dashboard Schematic section. Copy the line. Back in the VS Code, paste it in the command line window, then add your own tag name. Here, I named it my Dashboard. This process will make a new holder like my dashboard. Next, we are going to check this my dashboard. Open app.component.html file. Delete all the default HTMLs. Then add my dashboard tag. 
Save this fire. Then type energy s dash o in the command line window. In a browser, you'll find a dashboard. Okay. The dashboard here is based on a card, and it is composed of two columns. Card 1 uses two columns. Card 2 uses one column and one row. However, card 3 uses one column and two rows. At the dashboard, you can see that it is very raised. These configurations are made by the code's object. Here, we are going to embed various charts in each card. The library to use is ng 602 chart. For details on ng 602 chart, please see other videos. At first, we need to install chart libraries. In the terminal window, type ng npm i d3 at 4.3.0 dash dash save Next, type npm i ng602 chart dash dash save. Okay, you can find these libraries in package.json file. Next, we need to modify app.module.ts file to use these chart libraries. Open app.module.ts 
TS file and import NG6 or two chat module. Save this file. Next, we need to modify my dashboard.ts, my dashboard.html, and style.css files. However, since each source is quite long, we're going to use the copy from the GitHub site. It's URL github.com slash oats slash ng6 dashboard sample. You will find style.css file. Copy the lines. Back in the base code, paste them in style.css file. Save this file. Back in the browser, open source slash app source app slash my dashboard slash my dashboard.ts file. At first, copy import part. Back in the base code, paste it in my dashboard.tis file. Back in the browser, open my dashboard.ts file. Copy the lines in my dashboard component class. They are rather long. Back in the VS Code, paste them in my dashboard.ts file. Save this file. Back in the browser, up my dashboard.html file. Copy all the lines. Back in the base code, paste them 
in my dashboard look estimated fly Save this file. Finally, in the terminal window, type energy s dash o for starting the Roka server. In your browser, you will find many charts in a dashboard.